Hello again everyone. In this video, I'll show you some tips to be more efficient with Iguana Tech. So I assume that you have watched the first part of this video series already. So we learned in the first video how to add the Iguana Tech to our list of add-ins in PowerPoint. However, uh, uh, we should not change the location of this add-in file or Iguana Tech will break. So it's a good idea to put the Iguana Tech uh, add-in file to the default folder for the PowerPoint add-ins. So uh, let's go to the download location of our Iguana Tech add-in and copy the add-in file and then go back to our PowerPoint presentation and then go to file options add-ins PowerPoint add-ins and then hit go. So we'll see the um, add-in uh, we added for Iguana Tech from the folder we have on the desktop. So I'm going to remove this now and then click on add new. So this will open up the uh, default location for PowerPoint add-ins. Uh, so we already copied the add-in file from the desktop. So I'm going to right click here and then paste and then click on our add in file and then okay so now we and then enable so now we uh, uh, loaded our uh, iguana tech add-in but from the default folder of uh, uh, powerpoint add-ins then i'll hit close so uh, this way we don't actually have to keep track of our add in file location so now it's in the default folder for powerpoint so i can go ahead and remove the file I have on desktop without causing any problems. All right. So now, as we learned also in the first video, that we can insert LaTeX equation by going to Iguana Tag, then a new LaTeX display, uh, right? And then we start editing our equations here or adding our equations here. And as you can see here, uh, you may want to add more LaTeX packages. Uh, like more of packages like these ones that we have here uh, but uh, the more the packages you add the messier this display is going to be so it's a good idea to put together all the latex packages you need in a separate file and then you import it to your iguana tech editor in powerpoint so if i go to the uh, the folder where i have my presentations which is uh, this folder here Right, so you'll see here that I have created a file for some LaTeX packages put together. So I'm going to open the file, open with WordPad, for example. So in this file, you will see the packages that I'm using for LaTeX, and you can also see that I defined some commands for coloring LaTeX equations here, and you will see how we can use this in a moment. All right, so I'll save this file with the name my LaTeX packages to tech or .tex and then go to my PowerPoint presentation. So let's now open a new LaTeX display. Now I can safely remove uh, these two lines because I have already included them in my separate uh, file with the latex packages. Now I would like to insert that file into my editor using the command input. So right here in backslash input then open and close curly brackets. So here I, I should put the path to uh, this file. So I'll go to my folder where I have this file and click here and then copy the path to the file go back to my latex editor and paste it here so there is a trick here which is i have to change all these backslashes into forward slashes so i'm changing the path to forward slash slashes 
and then forward slash and the file name so the let me let me copy directly the file name so i will go to here and i'll copy the file name back to my editor and then just paste the file name here right so inside this inside begin document and document i can now write my equation so in the math mode again i write the equation e equals to m c squared right and then generate so this works fine as usual but without having to um, loading all the packages again and saving the space uh, in my iguanatech editor so I can even edit this and benefit from the colors I defined in my uh, separate file. So let's put C, let's put the letter E in green, for example, and put the M in blue. So I'm just using the commands I defined in the separate file. And let's put the C in red. And that's it. So that regenerate and here I have my equation actually colored now if I want to create a new LaTeX display I will hit new LaTeX display and as you can see I don't see the imported uh, file command here because this is basically a new display but if I always want to see the imported file so I'll cancel this now and then I'll open the one where I have the imported file and then edit latex display right so if i would like to have this um, environment or this interface to be my default one i will simply hit make default right so if i hit make default and then close it and then i click on new latex display i will have my default equation again so uh, i can write anything else here like um, for example, dot x equals to f of x and u, uh, and then generate. So this should work fine and give me my second equation here. So this uh, last uh, tip uh, wraps my video and I hope that you liked it. Thank you for watching and see you again.